Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. The eggheads never liked taking orders from a... dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so... This one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh... I never liked to. And yeah... I guess it did remind me of... Uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but, uh... I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. This is the one. Here. Open it. through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic... Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. 
Another loose end tied up. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. Pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgin. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. But the cry And I can't get over Cry X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. And nobody Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. 
Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. That's why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield, or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor? That would be perfect. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine for removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> I was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Nick, are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me.
dead not need things, we take!
About time you showed your face. I take it that area is clear? Up and I may start believing you got some real guts. Here's your... The Commonwealth won't be running out of vermin anytime soon. If you're interested in heading out on another mission, you let me know. Anytime. I'm ready. All right. Here's details on the purge location. Complete the mission, report back to me. Attention. Any personnel who have not completed their annual medical evaluation should report to Knight Captain Cade immediately to schedule an examination. That is all. Picking on a death claw without backup is a great way to get yourself killed. Hey. into a situation guns blazing what brings you to me today set me up all of my weapons are mission ready no matter how many battles we win there's always another fight ahead of us Stop the Institute for Maxim and for the Brotherhood. Make sure you gear up before you head out.
approach Atom's holy ground. Why? State your purpose or be divided in his sight. Holy ground? Atom? What's going on here? Atom reached out and touched this world, bringing his glow to us. It remains to this day a reminder of his promise. Infinite worlds through division. What is this place? This is where we commune with Adam himself. I am surprised you have survived long enough to reach it. I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I just need some information from him. I see. In truth, this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Adam. Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of the crater, living in a cave. I would approach cautiously were I you. I feel he does not want visitors.
nice and slow. No sudden moves. I know you're from the Institute. So where's Kellogg, huh? Trying to sneak up on me while you distract me? It's not going to work. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Are you Virgil? You know damn well I am. What are you doing here? I need your help. My help? With what? How did you even find me anyway? I'm just a guy looking for information on the Institute. The Institute? So, they did send you, didn't they? You're working with Kellogg. Relax, big guy. Kellogg won't be coming after you. He's dead. Dead? He's... dead. Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying. I killed him myself. Did you? Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their too many years. I knew they'd send him after me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. And so you... You killed him, eh? Then what do you want with me? Why did you leave the Institute? I know you came from there. You know about the escape? But how? No. It doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me! Why are you even here? What do you want? Relax. I just need to know how to get in there. Wait, what? Are you serious? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Never mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. What reason could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can help, but I'm going to need something in return. You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could return me to normal, you understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. All right, let's talk details. First things first, you know how synths get in and out of the Institute? Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well, not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The Relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? A courser? What's that? Another Institute secret. Coursers are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Every courser has special hardware that gives them a direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. 
you need that chip. But to get it, you'll have to find a courser. Now I don't know exactly where you can find one. They haven't sent any after me. And sitting here waiting doesn't seem like a good plan. You're going to have to hunt one down. I can tell you where to start and give you some help finding one. But you'll have to do the dirty work. Okay, let's get to work. Right. The primary insertion point for coursers is in the ruins of CIT, directly above the Institute. So you'll want to head there. Now, the relay causes some pretty heavy interference all across the EM spectrum. You've got a radio on that pip boy, right? When you get to the ruins, tune into the lower end of the band and listen in. You'll be able to hear the interference. Follow the signal, and it'll lead you to a courser. Then, you just have to not get killed. Not gonna lie, the odds aren't in your favor here. But if you do make it, remember what I said about the serum. I need it badly. I... I really do hope you find what you're looking for. Attention, this is a notice to all personnel. Please think of your brothers and sisters down below. Thoroughly secure all gear while on the flight deck. Thank you. Thank you. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull. you with anything let me see what you have got some choice weapons that just came in hey you never liked having squires aboard the warship but Maxon thinks they need to train under fire
Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelurk scat off my boots. <clears throat> that location better be cleared out. Affirmative. Really? Maybe you're not as worthless as I thought. Huge. As long as the Brotherhood's around, those abominations don't stand a chance. If you need time to regroup, take it. Once you're ready, let me know. I'm ready. Good. Here's details on the Purge location. Complete the mission, report back to me. really strong.
Contract, or we can discuss your resignation. It's up to you. Stupid noises. I am tired of this place. This commonwealth. Yes, we should move west, range out, and hunt, but.
I am super mutant. Strong. Let's play. I am a Security's too tight. I can smell you out there, little snake. Hey. Tell Strong what to do. For human. Human. This what Strong carrying for human. Pony. Strong listening. What's that?
Heads up. What needs smashing? Hey, Mo. Now, don't be shy. Y you're never too old to own a swatter. Let's see what you got. Handmade, each one. It's like I can finally think straight. You need protection. Everyone does. You were in the paper, right? Heads up. You're 200 years old. You're pretty good for your age, huh? Strong. This ain't carry just any old you. pieces. Of what? A swatter is a custom piece. I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Doctor said I shot my liver. Hey, Arturo. You know, a shotgun's great insurance against raiders, but I got a lot of options here. Sure. Let's take a look. Everything hand tooled. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Keep calm. I'm standing still. That's exactly what a synth would say. But I don't know. Are you really uh, human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. I've got a few minutes to browse. Just don't call it junk. Victorian brother. Attention, this is a reminder. Any recovered historical, technological, or social documentation should be delivered to reps. Or looking that is to all. assist on a research patrol? I found some technical documents for you. These look rather promising. You certainly have a knack for this sort of work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check every building you explore during your patrols very carefully, and you might be pleasantly surprised at what you find. When I get off duty, that Salisbury stays. Can I help you with anything? Let me see what you have. All of my weapons are mission ready. <laughs> 